You know, the Lord has blessed me to write many books in my lifetime, but this is probably one of the most unusual books I've ever written. It's called Unlocking the Prophecy Code. And I think the reason I like it so much is because of the way it was written. Um, this book was revealed to me. Now, some books I get inspired, I write, I outline it. This is not how this one came. Most of my books I've written took me months, some even more than that, some a couple of years to write, but this one was written in 20 some days. I often refer to it on my John, as my John on the Isle of Patmos experience because it was like I sat down every morning, it was in my backyard, and the Holy Spirit just began to reveal things to me that I wrote down, things that I had no knowledge of. Um, you know, uh, some of it, I had to even check the facts medically. I'll tell you about that one. Uh, it's, it, I wrote about it here in, in this book. But um, the Holy Spirit told me that morning, and I used to think it was a teaching angel. I still don't know if it was a teaching angel assigned for me to write this book or the Holy Spirit. But I was just sitting in my backyard, and the Holy Spirit said to me, your body is a living temple of the Holy Spirit, but it's also a living testament. And I know the Bible says that. And so I thought, okay, I get that. We're our bodies a living testament. It's like a Bible. And he said, no, the way you're designed is a living testament. So this is what the Holy Spirit showed me that I had to reveal. I had to look up and verify medically. He said, when you're born, you have 33 vertebrae. That's the 33 years that Jesus lived on this earth. It's a, it's a timeline. Coming out of your right side, you have 12 ribs. Coming out of your left side, you have 12 ribs. The left side is the 12 tribes of Israel. The right side is the 12 disciples. And that's part of telling the story, all built into this timeline. But when these ribs join in the front, they join differently. So they join to the breastbone, but only seven of them join to the breastbone, which is over your heart. So that's God's heart for Israel and God's completion. So seven is the number of completion. God's completed work in Israel and God's completed work through the disciples. So that's what covers your heart. Well, that gives you five more ribs underneath that. So five is the number of grace. So I have the completed work of God, which is our salvation. And now I have the work of grace, which is how we are saved. So of those five ribs that are left, you have grace for Israel. You have grace for the church. And then you have only three of those connecting in the back on that, on that timeline, on those 33 vertebrae. So of those five, only three connect in the back, which is, which is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the divine signature of God which leaves you two more ribs on both sides. Well, two is the number of Jesus prophetically. And these two ribs, interestingly enough, do not attach to anything. They're called floating ribs. They don't attach to the time. That's why the Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is, he is ageless. He is timeless. And so those, those ribs representing Jesus are not attached to anything. So, those two ribs on the left are the Messiah that the Jewish people are looking for. And those two ribs on the right are the, um, are the savior of the church that we, that we call Messiah and we know is our Messiah. So I found that so interesting. This book is filled with things just like that, where God showed me to take the two codes that he gave us, the, the uh, interpretation of the parable of the wheat and the tear and the interpretation of the parable of the sower and to use those codes to unlock all the other mysteries of the Bible. So unlocking the prophecy code for that reason is one of my favorite books.